Hello everybody. Today's recipe is strawberry milkshake. It is dairy free. You can see here it's got frozen strawberries, flaxseed, brown sugar, pineapple juice, a little bit of water, coconut cream, amateur, and a splash of apple cider vinegar. So here are all my ingredients. This is my amateur, which is unripened, so green, powdered, dried and powdered mango. It's a bit lemony. Oh, flaxseed. Organic, of course. Organic coconut milk. Organic brown sugar. Don't judge me. I know we should not be buying Dole. Anyway, Bragg's organic and organic strawberries. I did not plant strawberries this year. Okay, so bear with me. I don't do a whole lot of measuring unless I'm baking. It calls for about a cup of strawberries. We're doing two. So I just split up a 10 ounce bag, it's about 5 ounces a piece. Next it calls for uh, some flaxseed. Sorry about the shakiness, that's what you get with one handed cooking. Um, I'm guessing that's about two tablespoons of flaxseed. It's kind of all fallen to the bottom. There you can see it. About two tablespoons. Alright, we're going to attempt to prop this. Yeah, that works. Okay. There we go. We're going to put some amateur in. And I'm basically just going to give it a healthy pinch. And then I'm going to do that again. So, one, two healthy pinches of amateur. I'm actually kind of new to this spice. I'm getting braver and braver every day. It's yet to ruin a meal. It's pretty mild. So it's got a little bit of a, maybe like a lemony. Um, put some apple cider vinegar in, because it's good for you. You can see just, just a splash, maybe two teaspoons. Whew, it's a bit much, I can smell it. I don't normally condone the use of sugar, but we're making a freaking milkshake here, people. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to say, three tablespoons of sugar. It's quite a bit, but I don't really eat sugar. So I'm willing to splurge. There's also, of course, some sugar. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the pineapple juice and in the coconut cream. Excuse me while I open my coconut cream. making this in my magic bullet, my neutral bullet, excuse me, but you could make it in any blender. And I got a whole can of coconut cream and I'm going to attempt to use maybe a quarter of it. I'm thinking I'm going to fill the space that's left between the sugar and the strawberries. changed my mind and I'm putting in a bit more. So 
you can see kind of what's left in the can. Let's see. I've used that much. So a third of the can in each one. And I've now covered my strawberries. You can see I've got little lines here that identify how far I can go. I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to reshake my pineapple juice. And no, I don't condone the plastic water bottles either, and I didn't buy them. I just reuse them. So, maybe half a cup of pineapple juice each. And a, you can see I used half the water, so, hmm. Third of a cup of water, and now we're going to blend it and see what happens. I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to listen to the whirring. Alright. So, I mixed it about a minute. Oh, I usually just make one, but the good thing about making two is I can mix the first one, and if it's not what I want, I can alter the second one before I blend it. So here goes nothing. Sweeter than it needs to be. I go with two tablespoons of brown sugar. It's pretty freaking good. Can't change the amount of sugar that's in there, but we can add something else that doesn't have sugar, or not much anyway. And as there was a little bit of room for it, just be a little bit creamier and thicker and less sweet. That'll be good for me. I'll have that one. Matt likes a little more sugar. I'll give him the other one. Oh, I've got to fix my cap. All right, well, that's strawberry milkshakes. No dairy, no milk. Again, you've got about a cup of frozen strawberries, a couple of tablespoons of flaxseed, sorry about this, brown sugar, one to three tablespoons, depending on how sweet you want it. Okay, that's just not focusing. It's no light, my bad. Coconut cream or milk, some Amchur, splash of apple cider vinegar, some pineapple juice, and a little bit of water. And again, you can just mess with the uh, amounts until you get a recipe you really like. I hope you all enjoy. Dairy-free strawberry milkshake. 